Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Today we're going to look at the double black playing cards from Gambler's Warehouse and PlayingCards.net. Uh, this is a Kickstarter. Uh, it was released through Gambler's Warehouse. It was successful. Um, it was successfully funded. I believe they had two versions of this deck. They had a branded and an unbranded uh, version. And so this is the unbranded that we'll be taking a look at today. And uh, the premise of this deck, Gambler's Warehouse, they wanted uh, to create a deck that uh, kind of looked like a cross between Deadly and Debonair. They, they said uh, in their ad copy that they wanted a deck of cards that it looked like uh, James Bond would uh, use in a card game. Um, so they, what they did was they created this really classy, very sleek uh, deck of cards. There's a lot of customization in it, uh, customized back, everything you, you're going to see, pips, indices, court cards, it's all been customized, but yet it still maintains a lot of the classic style that you're familiar with already uh, in traditional playing cards. Um, there was 2,500 of these decks uh, made. And so uh, let's get into it. So the tuck case has a double X on the front, double black. It says double black right on the front there. And then you're gonna notice that there's like a silver uh, metallic ink all around the deck. Um, on one side, uh, there's French words. And it says most beautiful playing cards in the world. And then the other side says Gambler's Warehouse. And of course there's some ad copy and there's a, a barcode scan that takes you to uh, Gambler's Warehouse's website. And uh, the back design is simply double X. Uh, logo that you're going to see on the back of the cards. And so that's pretty much it for this tech case. Now let's take a look at these cards. I seriously doubt this is going to show up uh, from this distance, so I'm going to have to give you a, a closer look a little bit later. Um, this is a black back deck with a double X on top and bottom as a mirrored image. Um, it does have a slight border. Uh, the pattern, the kind of grid pattern that's behind the double X, it kind of fades to black towards the edges. Um, so it kind of gives the image, uh, or sorry, it kind of gives the illusion of uh, a border, but uh, with just a little hint of it. Um, it is black on black, so the card faces do have a black border too, so that makes the uh, reverse cards really nice. But it's so black on black, and th this goes for the faces as well, it's so black on black that it, it, depending on the light that you're in, the deck can be very hard to read, uh, especially for uh, the black suited cards. Uh, I really wish um, when they got the proofs back they saw this and kind of try to accent some of the black a little bit better. I don't know. Maybe this was their intention. Maybe they wanted a deck that was so black it was almost invisible. But that's kind of how it looks to me. I'm going to have to give you a really lit um, preview uh, a little bit later just to show you what these cards look like. But again, this is the back design. With this deck, you're going to get a couple of extra cards. We'll see how futile this is to show you what they look like from this distance. Um, you're going to get two jokers. Uh, you're going to get the white joker and the red joker. For all I know, all you can see is floating balls right now. <laughs> um, uh, both of them have the X in the corner. Uh, it's also the Roman numeral 10. And uh, it's a joker juggling, so or a, sorry, a jester juggling. And this one's juggling white balls. This one's juggling red balls. And so they're pretty much identical except for the color variation. Uh, you're also going to get a Gambler's Warehouse ad card. And you're going to get a gaff card, which isn't a double backer. It's a double ender. So this is a double ended card. Uh, it has the queen of clubs in one corner and the jack of hearts in another corner. And those make for really cool magic tricks. Hey, everybody. Just wanted to steal the camera real quick and show you the double black cards as best I can. I'm going at, a, at an angle so you're not getting any sun reflected light. And uh, just going to... Just try to go over the extra cards you get, show you some of the uniqueness of double black. This is the back design, all right? And this is the white juggling joker. This is the red juggling joker. This is your double black ace of spades. This is your doubled gaff card of the jack of hearts and the queen of clubs. And this is your gambler's warehouse ad card. So like I said, every uh, card is custom. There is a custom theme going throughout their uh, entire deck. And the, there's a grid uh, pattern behind the pips and indices. Uh, it's just very faint. It's very hard to see. Uh, you're going to notice on the black suits, the spades and clubs, uh, the, the pips are outlined in white. And then the indices and pips in the corner are white. And then with the court cards, there's always one colored element in the... Uh, the royal's hands so there's like a, a you're gonna see like this floating white image 
And then with the red colors, of course, the pips and indices are outlined in red. There is a red font and uh, indice in the corner. And then again, with the red quartz, uh, you're going to have that same kind of red element that's um, being held onto by one of the royals. And I think that's cool because it adds a little bit of color to the deck. The other thing is all the quartz are actually unique. These aren't your traditional uh, quartz. And so I'll give you a closer look at those right now. Hey, I also wanted to show you some of these really cool uh, court cards that come with the double black deck. Um, it's really awesome artwork. I really hope they release another deck using these same courts because I think they're really cool, but some of the art, uh, it just gets a little lost on this black on black. Um, so here's uh, the diamonds for you to look at, and I'm going to show you the clubs as well. And of course, as always, you can use your own computer controls to pause and take a longer and closer look. Well, that's pretty much it for this deck review. As always, we recommend that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just to stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. You can follow us on Twitter, twitter.com slash magicorthodoxy. You can follow us on Facebook, which is facebook.com slash magicorthodoxy. Thanks. Bye.